What's up guys, today we're going to be looking at Skyscrapers for the Nintendo Switch. It is a fighting game, it's kind of a different take on fighting games to be honest. It's a, a fighting game where you are going up a skyscraper and you're trying to either take away your opponent's health or you're trying to make them fall off more times than you and then they'll eventually die or you're trying, or you're trying to get to the top of the skyscraper first. It's a game developed by a developer called Ground Shatter, it's also published by Ground Shatter and I believe it's been on Steam before. And it's coming out for the Nintendo Switch on October 29th for $9.99 US dollar. So let's just take a look at it here. I'm going to just get into the single player mode. I believe that it is probably better to be played with four players or played with your, a bunch of friends together on, on the same console, on the same TV. But I'm going to be playing with the single player mode because I have no friends right now to play with. And I'm going to just pick one of the characters. So there's four characters to start off with. There's Phileas. There's Celine. There's Jessica. And there's Kichiru. I'm going to go with Kichiru. He seems like a pretty cool character. I got to say right off the bat with this game, when I first booted it up, I really like the art style. I like the, the drawings of the characters. It looks very cool. I like the colors and, and just the sort of character, anime style characters in this game. It looks pretty cool. So you're starting off in Tokyo, Japan, in Yanison Pagoda. I'm not sure if I'm saying that. And uh, that's 100 meters. So I'm guessing that's how tall the skyscraper is. And basically, this is just telling you Here's the loading screen telling you if you fall from the bottom, you'll be reset by being shot up. And you'll see as I as I go and play through this different mechanics. But basically, you're just trying to get up to, to the um, trying to get up to the skyscraper the fastest and uh, trying to beat up your opponent. So this is the story mode. So this is Kichiro talking. Oh no, this is this Kichiro talking? No, this is the other guy talking. I'm a self-made man. It affords me a degree of freedom as well as sartorial flexibility. Sorry, man, you lost me. A blah blah blah. Let's go. So now you're gonna fight this guy. And uh, yeah. So here it is. Um, I'm already doing terrible. Like I'm not. I've, I've played it a few times and I'm just not very good at it. So we'll just see how well I can do here. I gotta say one thing right off the bat is my first few times I tried the game out, I was playing it on the uh, in handheld mode and uh, it looks oh right in handheld mode. It's a little small. I gotta admit when I'm playing it on handheld mode, it's kind of hard to, to see your characters and to see everything you're jumping on. I mean, you can see them, but it's it's this is like a lot more satisfying, a lot more fun to play with when I'm in the dock mode and playing on a bigger screen TV. It's it's definitely increases the experience, the overall experience a lot more. And I'm and especially if you're gonna have about like four players on here with your friends and you're just jumping around, um, you'll definitely be wanting to play this on a bigger screen, not all playing it on the one Nintendo Switch. But yeah, there. See, so I got to the. Oh no, I, I hit off his health, so his health died before I got to the top. So there was 11 meters before I got to the top. And this first stage here is uh, consists of two rounds, first to two win. So I won there by taking out his health, but let's see if I can get to the top here. Let's see if I can make myself get to the top before he does and just win that in that way. So there's a cool little element too when you're playing is if um, you can build up a special meter. And if you build up a special meter, you can get a super jump or you can get like a big hit or more powerful hit against your opponent and I believe that's done through doing tricks and things like that as you're jumping um, and then you'll see that second bar under your health bar build up and you'll get that special meter to get try to get full so you can get that extra boost oh see there I go I'm, I'm already falling down here I'm not gonna make it this, this sun death so, so so now this means that whoever falls off here loses so oh, I got it I got it I got it boom beat him I don't know what he was doing there but uh, beat him to the top so there it is. There's uh, the first round. We'll do. We'll do the second one here. I believe this is uh, okay. So this is in Dallas, Texas, on the old bank building. And it's a little bit. It's actually a lot higher. 250 meters, and we are playing. Who are we against here? I'm not sure. I think it's. Uh, let's see. So just the two of us. It's a shame because it means there will be no around. No one around to watch your destruction. You can't fight your feelings forever. No, but I can fight. You for the 15 seconds it takes to defeat you. All right, I am back, and I'm gonna have to take the L on that first uh, on that first round because of my controller. But you know, it's all part of playing video games, I guess. So here we go, trying to get to the top here. This is a little bit of a higher building, and I find when I play this game, I'm just better at trying to jump to the top, kind of like platforming than fighting. I've always my entire life been better at platforming games than fighting games, so that's what I'm going for here. So she just fell off too many times and died. That's what happened there pretty much. I think she got hit by some of that fire as well. Alright. Let's try to get to the top again. 
I'll try to fight her a bit actually, just to show you some of those mechanics. It's pretty simple, the fighting mechanics, you're really, there's really only two buttons in this game. And it's A to jump, B to hit, B to fight, pretty much, and that's it. And like, you'll see too that you can really run up vertical cylinders, or, you know, these little things here. And you can get to the top by running, if you see them pretty much straight up, just keep going, you'll be able to get up them. Don't be uh, afraid to, to run them, but yeah. And I guess you can do a ground pound too. So I'll fight her a bit. There you go, boom. Beat her just by fighting her. So I'm finding it way easier to play this game. Like I said earlier, in dock mode. So if you're going to be playing this game, I think the ideal is a dock mode. Don't, it's it's too small, I find, playing it in handheld, to be honest. That's one of the, the big negatives, I think, of this game. But besides that, I mean, it is pretty fun. And I, th I feel like um, if it's something you just want to play with a friend or kill some time and uh, you know have a couple buddies over or something and make a competition out of it. I think it would actually be pretty fun to get into. It's kind of like uh, Super Smash Brothers and the, the obviously not the, the amount of characters or the depth into the same amount of depth or anything like that but I just mean that kind of sense. You could get I, I can see a bunch of friends getting together playing this for four people and then just having a great time um, seeing who can win and stuff like that. So I think I think that's what will be the best for if you're interested in picking this game up. Okay, here we go. So I'm gonna get to the top again. Oh, I'm gonna beat her a bit. Oh, she's almost dead. I'm gonna kill her. Oh, she's she's falling. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for her to get up here. I'm gonna finish her off. Oh, oh, no. Oh, there we go. Boom. Yeah, so there it is. Um, those are the first two uh, campaign levels. And then there's a whole single player campaign as well if you want to play it in single player. Um, it's like I said, comes out on October 29th for 9.99 US dollars on the Nintendo eShop. If you're interested in checking it out, I would say if if you wanted to pick this up maybe as a party game or something, I'd say that would be the best way to go about playing this game. But yeah, I like the graphics. Uh, the I like the the jumping up and getting to the top of the building, the platforming, and everything. It is a fast game. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to check out Skyscrapers. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new to this channel, and anytime you guys like or, or watch my videos or anything, I really do appreciate it. Any sort of engagement with my channel, I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video, guys.